Hello, I'm Dr. Joe of the drjoe.com. Welcome. This presentation is about the things you shouldn't do when using apple cider vinegar. Um, I use apple cider vinegar every day, uh, but it does have some downsides. Call them apple cider vinegar side effects. And these are just some warnings that I'm going to throw out there. But I'm not going to leave you high and dry. I'm also going to tell you the things that you, you should do instead uh, to use apple cider vinegar safely. So let's get started. The first thing is you should not drink apple cider vinegar directly from the bottle or the jar. Okay. Uh, and there's a reason for that. And the reason is that apple cider vinegar does contain a weak acid, acid called acetic acid. And this acid actually does have a wearing effect on your teeth enamel. Uh, as you can see there, um, of course, this has you know, cosmetic implications as well as oral hygiene implications. So acetic acid, you know, will affect your teeth when you use apple cider vinegar. And that means you should, the apple cider vinegar should have minimal contact with your teeth. And the best thing to do is, I'll tell you what to do anyway later on in the presentation, but do not drink it directly from the bottle. The next thing you shouldn't do is brushing your teeth with apple cider vinegar. I see this all the time online. There are People, everybody's a health expert. They give advice and uh, about teeth whitening and natural things you can use to whiten your teeth. And one of the things I suggested is apple cider vinegar. And they tell you that you should use apple cider vinegar to brush your teeth every day. Please do not do it. Do not do it because if you do that, you will be accelerating, you know, the enamel loss that I talked about earlier on. Uh, don't forget the acetic acid in the, in the uh, apple cider vinegar. It's not just acetic acid. There's another acid called malic acid as well. Those acids, they might be weak. Um, they do have a wearing effect on, on your teeth. But not just that. If you imagine that you're also brushing your teeth. So that brushing action, you know, it's almost like you're using acid to brush your teeth. And what that means is you are es essentially accelerating, you know, the enamel loss um, quite quickly. Uh, do not do it. Now, if you disobey this rule, what's going to happen? Um, well, of course, you're going to make frequent visits to your dentist. And oh, your dentist is going to love you because you will be, you know, contributing to... Uh, into the funds that will enable her to buy that uh, Lamborghini you see there. So do not do it. Um, now the next thing is that you should not drink excessive amounts of apple cider vinegar. Uh, you might be tempted to do this because of the health benefits you've heard about about uh, apple cider vinegar. But the point of the matter is you don't need a lot of apple cider vinegar uh, at any one time. Now if you consume huge amounts of apple cider vinegar, there have been some, um, you know, health effects that have been uh, reported in, in the literature. And one of them is throat burns. Okay. Um, and apple cider vinegar has also been known to, to drop the level of potassium in your blood. So low potassium level is one of the side effects. Throat burns is an immediate thing. Of course, if you drink it directly, you could um, irritate your throat. In the long term, if you continue to do this, um, you will lose bone. Okay, and that will ultimately lead to osteoporosis. All right, so bone loss is something of a concern with apple cider vinegar, but this is a long term thing if you're drinking or consuming huge amounts of apple cider vinegar at a time. <coughs> Excuse me, do not do it. Now, the fourth thing you shouldn't do is, um, you know, because the apple cider vinegar has a lot of uses, some people actually use it for skin conditions. But always do a skin patch test. Um, do not apply it directly on your skin until you've done a skin patch test. Why is this? Because um, skin burns have been reported, uh, especially in children. So it's something you shouldn't do. Okay. So I've talked about the things you shouldn't do. So what should you do instead? Uh, some of it is common sense and is implied from some of the things that I've mentioned earlier on, like if you're going to use it for a skin condition, always do a skin patch test initially. Okay, just apply a little, you know, apple cider vinegar on a small area of your of your skin, and see whether your skin is tolerant to it. If you're sensitive to it, do not use it. Okay, because we'll have different degrees of skin sensitivity to you know different agents. So do a little skin patch test before you apply it on your skin. Now, 
I use apple cider vinegar quite often. I drink it almost every day, but you don't need more than two tablespoonful. That's all I use. I just two tablespoonful of apple cider vinegar. <coughs> Excuse me. You don't need more than that, uh, and that is what you should be doing. When you use apple cider vinegar, after you've used it, always rinse your mouth. Okay, uh, just simply rinse in your mouth with water. Do not brush your teeth for the same reasons that I alluded, alluded to earlier on. Do not brush your teeth. Just rinse your mouth with simple water and you should be fine. Always dilute your apple cider vinegar with water before drinking it. It's very simple. And you just need, you add a two tablespoonful in a cup or in a glass and dilute it with water. Plain water, you don't need anything else. And then you can drink it. And then the next tip is that if you notice we're talking about the contact with your teeth and all the rest of it, the whole idea is that we want minimal contact between apple cider vinegar and our teeth. And one good tip is that you can see in that picture I've diluted the apple cider vinegar. The next thing you need to do is when you're drinking it, use a straw because once you use a straw, that actually avoids the contact with your teeth. Uh, and it's a very safe way to use apple cider vinegar and you can drink it every day if you like, so long as you're using a straw. Now, the one question you want to ask yourself is, why do I use apple cider vinegar all the time? Well, it's because I eat carbs. And if you're somebody who eats carbs, you should make apple cider vinegar one of your best friends. Um, I have a link in the description that, that takes you to my blog where I talk about how you can eat carbs and get away with it. Apple cider vinegar is just one of the tricks and tips that I, I give there. Follow the link in that description to my blog and read all about how you can actually eat carbs and get away with it, okay? Now, the next thing is if you like this presentation, please give it a thumbs up um, and also share it with your friends and family like i always say share the love you know share the love and then uh, if you haven't subscribed oh why haven't you that is the question why haven't you well uh please do do subscribe hit the subscribe button is right there and um because this is a place where i give you 2020 ideas that will lead you to better health so you know it will make sense for you to actually subscribe um that's it um until next time um please take care of yourself uh this is dr joe signing out take care bye